Sometimes the sad things known to man But ain't too much sad than tears of a clown When there's no one around Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, oh yeah, baby There's a smile on my face It's only there trying to fool the public But when it comes down to fooling me Now honey, that's quite a different subject Don't let my fake expression Give you the wrong impression Cause really I'm sad Sad and I'm hurting so bad Like a clown I feel so sad Want you to know it's so bad And ooh, oh, that's some sad things Know the man But ain't too much sad thing. Tears of love when there's no one around. Good morning, <laughs> good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. This video is not going to be very long, family. Um, I just wanted to touch on Tears of a Clown. I want to touch on the fact that a lot of us are not aware that most of the time there's two people uh, involved when you meet one person. You get that? There's two people mentally and emotionally involved when you meet one person. And with that being said, Y'all can already tell where I'm going with this, right? If not, let me start. There's the person that you want the per a person to see, and it is the person, and it is a person that you really are, okay? And usually what you present, very rare people uh, show the, the uh, Part of themselves when they first encounter somebody. Usually people show you the mask. And I think the reason why a lot of us get caught up in these uh, frivolous relationships is because we don't look at the mask. We have these self-imposed ideas about what we want a person to be or what we pray that they be and what we want to mold them into, which is totally disingenuous and totally dishonest, because that means you're not really accepting somebody the way they are. Women, <coughs> especially women, this is a mantra that we have a problem with, whether we're dealing with women or whether we're dealing with men, we're always trying to fix somebody. We are always looking at what's missing in a person's life. And that is just the way we're wired. And to figure out how can we fix them. But usually the problem with that type of thinking is the you fixing them is really should be you trying to fix yourself. Because that's really where the problem really lies. Yourself. So... What I want to encourage everybody to do is to work on being more authentic and honest and doing away with that mask. I'm not saying when you meet somebody, you don't have to, you shouldn't put your best foot forward. But the lies and all the things that we do when we are into meeting somebody, um, and then the things that the person on the receiving end is accepting is just really 
I mean, it just it doesn't bode well for our self esteem. Because not only sometimes do we know a person is lying when we meet them, and we continue to see them, sometimes we we have a very, very, um, pretty clear, pretty clear indication that this person is not being a hundred percent honest with us, and we still engage in those relationships anyway. And then when they don't turn out the way we want them to turn out. In my opinion, we have no reason to complain because we weren't honest or authentic in the first place. So that's what I want to encourage everybody to do today is think about that when you're encountering somebody. Be your authentic self. And if that's not good enough, well, that's a situation you don't need to be involved in. All right? Okay. With that being said, Thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you next time in the mental house. Bye-bye.